I have something a little bit different. So I'm gonna be doing a story time today. So if you guys are new to the channel or you just recently got here, as you guys can see, I live here in a pretty nice place. Um, I live in Miami. I um, moved here about two years, three years ago, actually. Holy shit. <gasps> it's been three years, bro. Y'all gotta make an anniversary video. Holy shit, I just forgot. It's been three years since I moved to Miami. Holy shit. Okay, so yeah, I moved to Miami about three years ago. Um, and I met a lot of, I guess, celebrities. I met Fresh and Fit, Sneeko, uh, Island Boys, 6 9 I think somebody else, I'm just forgetting. But I met a lot of public figures, I guess. But the first guy that I ran into was actually Myron. So, when I first moved to Miami um, about three years ago, I went to Publix. So, actually, I need to tell the whole story. So, around this time, um, I was actually homeless. Yeah, shocker, I know. You might, you might be like, what the fuck? Like, you're living here, how are you homeless? Yes, I was homeless. You know, when I first got here, you know, it wasn't like this. So I was living in my car at the time, um, and we were just, I guess, sad. So we decided to go to Publix, get some candy or drinks or something. We just went to Publix. Um, but while we were there, Myron actually showed up. So we bought everything, we we're actually about to leave. And as we were leaving, we saw Myron come in. And let me tell you one thing, Myron is tall AF. So I'm 5'10", 5 5'11", 5 six foot on good days. And Myron's like, I can't even, hold on, I gotta pack up. Myron is like, not here, but like up here. That guy is tall as fuck. And it kind of sucks that I waited so long to do this video because Fresh and Fit, they fell off, bro, hard. Apparently Myron is racist and gay, and apparently Fresh pays for girls and he's actually a simp the whole time. I don't know what happened. I used to watch Fresh and Fit, bro, they used to be my like, I don't wanna say idols, cause that's pushing it, but I used to look up to them or at least watch them to be inspired. Now it's like, Bro, you're clown, like, I'm living better. Like, what the fuck, what's happening? I'm not gay. I like women. Like, what's happening out here, people? So I'm gonna be completely honest. I didn't even go talk to Myron that day because um, I was homeless. How does it look as me, being homeless, living in my car, going up to, at the time, apparently a multi-millionaire. He's known all over the world. People know him, people love him. I, what am I gonna go say? Yo, what's up, Myron, bro? bro? I watch you all the time, bro. Like, like you actually low-key inspire me. That's why I'm here, bro. Like. You know, I want to do things. I want to get moving. I want to get popping. Yo, that's cool, man. I, you know, I love, I love the support, man. It really means a lot. You know, like you, you stay around here, man. Like, you know, like where you from? Yeah, man. You know, I, you know, I just stay over there, man. You know, a little bit over there. You know, just hopping to skip away. You know, <laughs> not too far. Nah, bro, you're just fucking with me, bro. For real, bro. Where do you stay, man? There's nothing over there. It's just an empty parking lot, bro. You're, 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 you're serious, bro. I'm, I'm sorry, bro. Like, you need a dollar, like, just let me know, man. You know. I got money, you I mean, I, well, actually, I'm actually kind of broke now, but, you know, just let me know something, man, I got you. What does it look like me going up to Myron, bro? I, I couldn't do it, so I just, I just watched him from, from the side, you know, from the sidelines. Has the whole public just start struggling, you know, all the employees stop moving, they're just looking at him like, you know, he is tall as hell, so like, immediately, even if it wasn't Myron or somebody, that's not even his name, I should just, even if, even if it wasn't, if it... Even if he wasn't on Fresh and Fit, he would still get attention. That guy has to be like six, seven, bro. He is a giant. Seven feet high. He has to be touching the roof. So, I also met Fresh. So, we're gonna have to fast forward a couple months. You know, I was homeless for like three or four months. Got through that, finally got a job. I started working in this coffee shop, and lo and behold, apparently, this is crazy, but this is Fresh's favorite coffee shop. Okay, um, editing's out here. So, I realized this video is gonna sound so fake, but I swear to God, all of this is so real. I'm not making none of this up. I, guys, I promise you. You're gonna be like, Ty, you did, that's not his favorite coffee shop. You're lying. I'm telling you. Miami is just a, it's a crazy place. It's a crazy place. Yes, I met Fresh and Fit. I met Myron and Fresh, a lot of people. So just keep that in mind watching this. All right, enjoy. I don't know how I get so lucky, you know, where I can just talk about these things on the channel. But yes, I worked at a coffee shop where Fresh and Fit loved to go to, or Fresh, I would say. Myron never showed up. I never seen Myron come there not one time. Fresh, on the other hand, he came in pretty much almost every day with his family, with his friends, uh, like KT Hustle. I talked about him, he came in, I saw him. He's like this Instagram guy, he does, I don't know, Amazon FBA or something. I don't, I don't, that's not for me. I'm doing YouTube, I'm fully, I'm full logged in on this. And you know, I met Fresh's mom, pretty cool people. Um, and you know, Fresh was always just fly as hell. I can't even lie. Like he always had designer, always had jewelry. You know, I got my little piece, this little you know thing here. But you know, Fresh, he had the Cuban link. I'm not even saying I want that because I, honestly, I don't. I could care less about all of that. That's that shit costs like 70k. I couldn't imagine. 
70k on a on a chain bro like this was like 200 i mean that might be a little too much already but like this was 200 and then the chain is the, the little rope chain itself was like i think 100 because it's pure silver i'm not paying 70k i don't give a fuck how much money i'm making apparently he's broke now so like hopefully he can sell it or maybe it's fake i People are saying a lot of things about Fresh Fizz, so I might have made this video a little too late. You know, I'm not, I can't even lie, I can't even get the clout. Like, it's not even gonna be good. Who are Fresh and Fizz fans? They're like, you know, I don't wanna be those guys. So, like, it's, I, I can't, I get no benefit out of this video at this point, but, but yo, Fresh, he came in like every day. So, he always drove with these two cars. I remember it to this day. I used to always look outside this window and just always saw either the red Lambo or a G Wagon. And I knew it was him because he always came up and had the little CEO tag on it i remember it. i remember it so vividly you know he would come in oh yeah he always brings his dog in um what's his, what's his dog name hero 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 and i'm just like this is so crazy like i watch these guys constantly like well i used to at least i don't watch them no more guys i don't watch them no more don't be like oh shit, it's high actually no no this was back when i was like 18 19 20 around 2020 you know 2023 you know they're different now. I don't know what happened. I'm saying Myron, he's apparently racist. Myron, you're black. What are you doing? Like, how many times have we got to tell you you are black, my friend? Don't run from it. I did it at one point. I get it. I was there. I got made fun of. I got bullied for my skin color. I got bullied for my hair, nose, lip, everything. Myron, you got to love yourself. Once you do, you become the most beautiful version of yourself. Now people call me beautiful. First, like, oh, you're ugly. Now I'm beautiful. Because I love myself and I've realized that just because I'm black don't mean I'm ugly. I just not taking care of myself. And now look at me. Myron, fine therapy. I'm not gonna lie, Fresh has always been just a cool guy. I think honestly, I think Fresh just got wrapped up into the wrong crowd. You know, he's actually like if you if you look at Fresh for what it is, like yes, people hate on him. He talk, he can't talk. You know, if he try to make his own channel, god damn it. I I oh man. But Fresh, you know, he's actually a good guy at the heart. You know, he he came in with his mom. He bought his, mom, his mama a meal. He brought this girl in. Now, you know, when I look at her, I'm not going to lie. She's not my type. You know, Fresh has his own. He has a type. I, I can't even lie. She was she was something. I don't want to hate because I, I don't like to spread hate. You know, let her love herself. But, you know, she's not my type. I can't lie. But I think he's paying for her because she didn't look like the type of girl to be infatuated with you. Um, like when he would talk to her, she she's ignoring him. I can't, I'm sorry for if, you, if they see this, I'm sorry. I'm just speaking the truth. This is my experience. Don't hate on me, hate on yourself. But you know, he would be like, oh babe, blah, 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 or talking to her or trying to order. And she's just looking at the phone, just texting. And like, as as they're ordering, I'll be like taking the orders. I forgot to mention, I'm at this coffee shop and I'm watching them and I'm working for them at this point. And I'm like, this is kind of cool, but kind of sad because I'm putting fries in the bag and they're, you know, crazy experience but you know as i'm taking their order you know i'm just talking to him like a normal person like i'm acting i'm pretending like i don't know this guy yo hey what's up what can i get for you i don't want him to switch or try to come in oh i'm fresh yeah he knows me no you're gonna come in like i don't know you yes sir what can i get for you you know he'll order and his girl won't even like look up or even you know do nothing and then he'll be like yo what can i like hey what do you want he'll she'll, she'll just say it for a second go straight back down to her phone and i'm like this is this is supposed to be fresh right fresh she supposed to be fresh Fresh, what's going on? She's not even looking at you. I'm just, if that that's when it hit me, the dick there. Like, before I moved to Miami, you know, all these people that's in the media, they starstruck me, you know, in a way. I can't even lie. I'm gonna have to admit it. You, you're you lying to yourself, oh, they don't get to me. They do. If you met them, you'd be like, oh, shit, that's, that's them. Now, I don't give a fuck. I see what it is because I've been here long enough. These people are not what they seem, man. Like, fresh, your girl's not looking at you. You should be fresh. I want my girl to be infatuated. I got a thousand bodies plus. What's going on? She gonna grab the food out of your hand, not even look at you and say, thank you? Just walk out? Not even hold the door for you? This is sad. What's going on? Fresh. But no, uh, Fresh is actually like a chill guy in person. You know, I talked to him. He didn't seem like he had any malice or any hate. You know, Myron, I didn't talk to Myron because, I'm not gonna lie, Myron just looked mean. He just walked around just... He looked like he was just up to no good. Like, he looked scandalous. So I didn't want to talk to Myron for that reason, too. But, you know, I don't know. Talking to Myron, he might have malice. Maybe he's different. Actually, I did see Myron again one time. This is actually fun. I'm sorry. I don't, should I say sorry? This guy's ra he's racist. I, should I say sorry to a racist? So I was in Brooklyn one time, and I just happened to see Myron. Um, and I think that, I mean, that just happens in Miami. You're just walking around. You just see, oh, shit, that's whoever. 
Like I remember one time we saw like me and Jerry was we was at this pizza shop. We saw this Instagram model. I don't know her name. She's apparently married to some NBA player. I don't know. I saw NBA players. I seen a lot of people. I'm sorry. I just I forgot. I saw NBA football stars, all type of things. I was in Brooklyn, just walking. I, I think I was going to Publix again. I don't know what it is with Myron and Publix and me going to Publix. But we just, it's like the universe just wants me to see him when I'm going to Publix. I'm, I'm on that path. But I was going to Publix and I saw Myron and I guess he was getting an Uber or something. But I don't know if he's running out of money or he really is just that much of a minimalist. But he got in the worst Uber I have ever seen in my life. It was so bad, I wouldn't even have gotten in it. Like, I'm, I, trust me, I had my lowest. I was homeless before. I have been through my fair share of, you know, getting made fun of, looking ridiculous. People, you know, I was peeing in a bottle and I peed on my, my hand and my leg. I just feel stupid. I felt stupid. People looking at me, brushing my teeth in the morning. I have been through my fair share of just low points. But that, we're in Brooklyn. And Brooklyn, if you, I don't, if you don't know, you're not from Miami. Brooklyn is the financial district where everything happens. Money gets to moving. You shouldn't be getting it. So this car, ugh, fuck, the car was so old. It was like a 19, like, 93 <gasps> Honda. Thing. I don't know. Oh, damn, that, 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 that Uber had to be like 50 cents, bro. Like, just buy a just buy an Uber. 10 bucks. Get a normal Uber. I don't... See, the way I see it is, if he pulls up in a car like that, he obviously has nothing to lose. And I was I was at a, I was there at one point. I had nothing to lose. If you hop in my Uber, bro, if we if I die, hey man, it is what it is. I'm sorry you just you was at the wrong place, wrong time. I'm sorry. That's how I'm thinking. He has no nothing to lose. I'm not getting in that Uber. The fact that Myron got an Uber tells me I don't think they're doing so hot, man. Like if you're a multi-millionaire with all these real estate places and all of this, why are you getting in an Uber? That's so old like the car was so old and we made eye contact i don't know if he he probably didn't recognize me he, he hasn't seen the channel maybe he has maybe they say my be like investigating like channels he might be i did a video on pressure fit one time and it got a like, thousand views so he might have seen that who knows so he might have been like that motherfucker but we made eye contact for like a second and for like a half a second i would just i gave him that look like really bro like hmm it wasn't intentional. I wasn't like trying to be condescending. Like that's not me. Like, I, if he is doing bad, I really hope. Actually, I don't know. He is raising. <sighs> good luck. Just good luck to him. But I did give him a look of just like, like really, like what's? That's not that you shouldn't. You know, you know that look. Like you, you say you're doing this good, but you actually see that person and they're not doing so good. You give him that look, like really. And he kind of gave back that like embarrassed look, like shit, I'm caught. And he got an Uber real quick. And, you know, when he got in, you know, he would just face this way. He didn't even look my way. You know, if I'm thinking, like, if I'm Myron, and I know I got to get recognized a lot, and somebody made eye contact with me, I'm assuming they're probably a follower. So, like, if I get an Uber, I'm going to just give one, one more look just to make sure to see if I give a wave or something. Why didn't he even look at me? He just got an Uber and just... It's really making me believe that they're not doing that. I, I, don't, I don't think the podcast is doing so well. They're saying Rumble is the way to go. I heard Sneeko, he just dropped Rumble. He's on Kick and Twitch again and back on YouTube. What happened to fuck the platforms? They're back. It's like all of it, once you realize all of it was a sham, that's when you can finally be free. I remember I made a video on Pressure Fit and one guy commented, oh, you probably, you're, you're sad and you don't, you're not happy. What? Fresh and Fit didn't give me this, bro. Fresh and Fit didn't come to me, yo, you want an apartment? No, I had to get off my butt and get a job and work my ass off to get this, to live here. Fresh and Fit didn't do this. I mean, they might have helped me a little bit to finally just say, fuck it and get in the gym and, you know, do that. So I will thank, I will thank them for that. But from other than getting the gym, they didn't teach me anything about money. What do they say? Oh, guys, get credit. Duh, who doesn't know that? Guys, hit the gym. Ew. Like, I don't understand these guys are defending Fresh and Fit so hard. Like, Fresh, like I said, he's a good guy. I, I don't have no hate for Fresh. He's just in the wrong place, wrong time. You know, he met the wrong people. Myron, he didn't, he was, he hid his face real well. You know, he was, he was a devil under the, under the clothing. Yeah, he was chilling. But Fresh, you know, he was just, he's a happy guy. He just want to make money and just fuck bitches. I, I mean, I get it. I get it. It's just Myron's not with that. I think, like I said, Myron might be gay. So, like, a guy that likes to have fun with girls and a guy that don't like, even like girls, I don't even know. I... Now, to be honest with you, I have seen Fresh come in with money. So at one point, 
I'm pretty sure they were doing pretty well. You know, he came in with this bankroll. I remember this girl, uh, I'm not gonna say her name, just because. Should I say her name? It's a comment, Ellie, her name was Ellie. Um, she was there and she turned around. She, I guess Fresh pulled his wallet out and she just saw bankrolls and she just went crazy. Oh my God, this guy, do you know that guy? He has so much money, it's just like a bankroll. Oh my God, and she always wanted this, I guess they were called Chrome Hearts. See, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm out of touch. I don't, people ask me, Todd, do you do YouTube for money, blah, blah. I don't even know what Chrome Hearts, I don't know what's luxury brands. All I know is like Gucci, Dolce Gabbana, Louis Vuitton. I mean, I guess there's others. I don't, I, I'm not, I don't really care for that. You know, like I said, this was like 300 bucks, you know? Still looks nice though. It looks nice on me. People, I, I, I get, when you look good, you don't need expensive this and expensive. The amount of compliments I got on this and just my hair and just my, my clothes, bro, I'm not, I haven't gone shopping really in like two years almost. You don't need to spend the bank, people. Don't let Fresh and Fit, don't let influencers all this tell you they need to spend the break the bank to be rich, you, to be happy. You don't, you know, to look good. You don't get some hair products, clean your skin up, get in shape, and then any clothes you wear. This was literally from Timu. You know, it might not be the best shirt, whatever, but I mean, it was like ten, five, ten bucks. I mean, it looks good. I mean, I don't. I don't know what to tell you. You go spend 200 bucks on a shirt and tell me how you feel. Um, it's been a minute since I've seen Fresh and Fit. Um, I've seen Fresh a couple times, just out and about. I remember one time I was in Brooklyn again and I just saw him. I guess he was networking or whatever he does. He, I don't know, he was just outside. Dressed to the nines as, as he always is. You know, he's never dressed down. I'll give him that. He's always dressed to impress. I don't know how long that's gonna last though. Hopefully he, they find that shit out. Um, but if you guys enjoy this vid, let me know if you wanna see like more story times because I have so much, like I have story times about the homeless, like homeless encounters. I met the Island Boys or one of them. I don't even know, I don't even know which one. They look the same to me. I'm not into influencer or social media like that. I just do videos, you know? I'm just a normal guy that just make videos. Um, but I do know that apparently he kissed his brother or something. I was gonna say, that's why I don't watch that stuff. Like, what? It, what? And he's not gay, apparently. <laughs> yeah, okay. But if you guys do wanna hear me talk about like more of just my life, you know, things that I've experienced, just let me know. You know, Miami is a crazy city. I've seen a lot, been through a lot. At this point, I'm actually kinda tired. Yeah, like, I'm just, at this point, I do want a normal life. I just want, like, for a second. And when I say normal, I mean just not craziness happening. Like, why is there a homeless guy taking a shower outside butt naked randomly in the broad day? Why is that happening? I can talk about the girls. It's really, the girls, oh God, the stories. <laughs> but, you know, like I said, this is a new era for me, you know? I, I feel like at first the channel was so, like, trendy, like trying to be a trend. Like, oh, well, I'm tired, the guy is in Miami. But now it's just like, I'm tired, a guy that lives in Miami. You know, it's not Ty the guy that's Miami, but it's just, he's Ty, he just lives in Miami, you know? So it's like, it's more like that now. Which is way better for me because, honestly, I can make videos so effortlessly. I can just talk about anything. Like, at first I was talk, like, not scared, but I just, I didn't feel like people want to hear me talk about stories like this. I don't know why, but this is where I'm at now. And I'm happy, so effortlessly. Um, see you guys in the next video, though. Um, subscribe, do what you must do. This is, let's go, let's just enjoy the journey, I guess. See you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace. Good God. Just.